insects. They're like aliens that you can kill with a shoe. It has been about a month since the brood 10 cicada swarm emerged in the eastern United States. And it turns out their charm is quickly wearing off. A cicada is being blamed for causing an Ohio car accident. Cincinnati police say that one of the insects flew through an open car window Monday, hitting the driver in the face. The car drove off the road and then crashed into a utility pole. Cicadas grounding the White House press corps flight as they attempted to fly to Europe for President Biden's first foreign trip. The pesky insects apparently to blame for mechanical issues on the plane. Before boarding Air Force One, the president had to swat away a pretty big cicada that landed on his neck. Watch out for the cicadas. I just got one. He got me. Oh, shit. A cicada got Joe Biden? Yo, man, I'm no scientist, but I'm pretty sure that that means Joe Biden is now gonna turn into a cicada. My fellow Americans, the State of the Union is... And for people living in areas where these cicadas have taken over, they're basically ruining your life. I mean, you walk out your door, they're all over your lawn. You drive to work, they're running your car off the road. You stumble home and they're in bed with your spouse. Oh, come on, honey, a cicada? He's 17! Moving on now to some personal finance news. If you hate paying taxes, well, first of all, congratulations on being basic, and also, congratulations on being a billionaire. A bombshell report by ProPublica reveals just how little the wealthiest Americans have been paying in taxes. ProPublica obtained more than 15 years of never-before-seen IRS information about the 25 richest Americans and found that sometimes they paid little or no federal income taxes. In 2018, for example, ProPublica found Elon Musk paid no federal income tax. Neither did Jeff Bezos in 2007 or 2011, the same year he claimed a $4,000 child tax credit. And renowned investor Warren Buffett avoided the most tax of any of the billionaires ProPublica looked at, according to the report. As shocking as it is, nothing that they did is illegal. Everything that they did is in keeping with our tax code. And the basic reason is we tax income, not wealth. Rich people often grow their fortunes through stocks, real estate, or companies, so they don't have to pay taxes until they sell. And they can offset their income in other ways, too meaning it's legal to be worth a lot and pay a little. Ooh-wee! It's good to be a billionaire. I mean, imagine being so rich that you can afford accountants who make you look poor. Think about it. Jeff Bezos is so good at hiding his wealth that he qualified for a child tax credit. This dude built his own rocket to take him to space. And the U.S. government is like, hey, brother, Here's something for the kids until you can get back on your feet. Hard times, Jeff. And yeah, this is something that everyone already suspected, but it's still shocking to see proof right in front of you. It's the difference between knowing how hot dogs are made and watching them put the puppies in the machines. Yo, that's crazy. Well, then what was I eating? And the thing is, much like wearing cargo shorts to the Pride Parade, these tax loopholes are both messed up and completely legal. So if you want to change the system, then you need to take action and write to your congressperson. Then your congressperson can hold your letter in one hand and the campaign check from the billionaire in the other hand and decide which one they want to wipe their ass with. And finally, it's almost the end of the school year in most of America. Seniors are trying on their caps and gowns, getting formal face masks for their socially distanced proms, and forming new lifelong relationships with their student loans. But some Florida students who are expecting to get their senior yearbooks this week will have to wait just a little longer. A South Florida high school now facing questions today after it stopped selling yearbooks with pages dedicated to the Black Lives Matter movement. Students at the West Broward High School added a two-page feature on how the school responded to the movement. But after some parents complained, the school stopped selling it. Teachers and parents reportedly complained that there were not any opposing views. Those that complained said that the yearbook should have mentioned something more like Blue Lives Matter or All Lives Matter. Hmm. People, people, calm down. It's silly to get this angry over two pages in a book that you're just gonna throw in the attic for 40 years and then only whip out to prove to your granddaughter you were once hot. And as far as I know, yearbooks don't usually have 
opposing views. There's no least likely to succeed. You don't see a page that says, congratulations, Poetry Club, on a great year. And then the next page that says, eat shit, Poetry Club, express yourself in a narrative form or get the f- out of here. Oh, and by the way, isn't it amazing how people always tell on themselves? Because the opposing view to Black Lives Matter is not blue lives matter or all lives matter. It's black lives don't matter. Yeah. And if you want to see that opinion represented, you don't need a yearbook. You just look at a history book.